I get to Honolulu, I don't know anybody, I need money, I took, got a one-way ticket. So I'm walking down the street at 6 in the morning on the sidewalk and a car pulls over. I was on my way to a bus stop to take a bus to downtown. This car pulls over, the window goes down, he says, hey, do you, uh, do you want to ride? And I said, well, no, I mean, I'm not hitchhiking, but where are you going? He said, well, I'm going to downtown Honolulu. I said, yeah, I'll take a ride to downtown Honolulu because uh, that's where I'm going. Yeah. So I get in the car, and the guy turns to me and says, Jesus Christ told me to pull over, that he's calling you to repent, he has a plan for your life, and he's calling to you. And I said, buddy, pull the car over. And he said, I'm serious, the Lord told me to pull over. He said, I'm serious, I will knock your teeth out. Pull the car over. And I started swearing at him. I made him pull the car over, and I jumped out of the car, red hot, just furious. So I keep walking, I get to the bus stop, I sit down at the bus stop. I hadn't been there more than probably 15 seconds. And another guy does the exact same thing to me. He walks up to me, says, God is calling to you. He's commanding you to repent. Jesus Christ has a plan for your life. You know, God's calling you. And I was like, what is going on in this place? This is weird. I'm like, whatever, dude. So the bus pulls up that I'm going to take to go to downtown Honolulu. I climb up on the steps of the bus. And as I'm climbing up, I go by the bus driver. And the lady in the first seat hands me a gospel track. Yeah. So for the first time in my life, I read the, read the gospel track because I was raised Roman Catholic. And so I said, all right, you're, you're calling to me to, you know, then you're going to have to prove yourself. You're going to have to give me a sign, an unmistakable, clear sign that you're calling to me if you think I'm going to follow you. Very cocky. Terrible. Yeah. So anyway, I get to downtown Honolulu. I buy a newspaper. I see that they are looking for a painter at a school called the Kamehameha Private School. And I didn't know at the time that this was a school that had been um, funded by Queen Kamehameha when she sold Waikiki Beach to the developers and all the multiple millions of dollars she endowed a school called Kamehameha School. All I knew was they needed a painter. So I go there, I lie on the application that I'm an experienced painter and uh, and then, you know, I just make a couple calls for two or three days and finally, you know, they say, okay, you can have the job. So I show up for the job and I'm filling out the paperwork and people from like all around me are looking at me like I got five heads. You know, people come out of rooms and look in and People coming around the corner and look. And so I, I thought it was weird. So I fill out the paperwork, I get on the painting crew, I get with the painters, and the head of the painting crew says to me, um, so who, who do you, you know, how did you get this job? I mean, who pulled strings for you to get this job? I said, who pulled strings for me to get this job? I said, it was in the paper. I just applied. He said, no, no, no. He said, who do you know on the board of the school that got you in? I said, I don't know anyone on the board of the school. I've only been in Honolulu four days. I'm from Boston. And he said, that's a miracle. I said, what's so miraculous about that? He said, you're the first non-Hawaii. He said, when Queen Kamehameha gave the money to the school, she said you had to be 50% Hawaiian to, to go here, and you had to be at least 33% Hawaiian to work here. He said, you're the first non-Hawaiian that's ever been hired here in like 78 years. And when he said it's a miracle, I remembered when I prayed on the bus, you know, like this. And so I got home the next night, the, the, that night, and the next thing I know, I'm on my knees crying out to the Lord to save my soul. And I knew it was God had done the whole thing. I, I know I wasn't searching for him, I was running from him, but somehow God and his grace changed my will. Yeah. So, so I know God is sovereign in saving people. Yeah. 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 So praise his name.